Welcome to Goddess of the Moon Tarot. I am Deb here with your general intuitive message. I hope you're doing well and I hope that this reading finds you safe. If you're interested in bookings, collaborations, timestamps, or any social media links, please check them out in the description box below. Let's go ahead and get started. <music> What's the Shamanic Medicine Oracle card that can help us guide us through this reading? Get an idea of what the topic is, what we're going to be talking about. Medicine, math, authenticity. I see that there. So we might be talking about being a, your authentic self. Let's see. Bell's deflection. Time for some space clearing. Burn sacred sage to clear away the negative energy from your home or workplace. Choose your words carefully and wise. Be aware of every action. Step away from your current situation. Heed the warning sign you've been ignoring. So y'all might need to go ahead and sage if you haven't already. I'm doing this reading during the Virgo full moon. So I don't know if you guys already did Sage, but if you didn't, you probably need to get on that, okay? What's the news? Deflection, bells. So if you guys have wind chimes, that's probably gonna be a good thing for you right now, or bells, ringing bells. I, I like to use bangles <laughs> myself but to each his own let's see the will so the will of fortune is it can indicate that there's some type of fortune that's about to come into your life. It also can mean that time is like, either it's moving fast or slowing down or it's almost like destiny and fate, okay? Yeah. Why does the Three of Swords want to show? And that's not even the card I'm taking out. <sighs> yeah, something. Okay, so before I even start with these cards, what I'm getting since this card tried to show out the Three of Swords, I feel like these bells are going to help you get rid of those energies that's trying to cause some type of pain or misery. And also, fate is taking over, so it's not meant for you to deal with that right now. I feel like something is trying to be forced into your life because it was like that card tried to be replaced from your victory because this is a six of wands. But I feel like your intuition is on point right now. So whatever your intuition is telling you, you need to uh, follow that, okay? Also, you're probably getting a lot of intuitive messages from your spirit team, so that could be anyone, your, like your ancestors, spirit guides, angels. They're guiding you into a path that is going to be easier for you, probably getting away from a lot of things that were conflicting with this five of wands right here. You might have been surrounded by a lot of people who envy you or people that don't want to see you do good, people that try to compete with you also. I feel like you just want to be lighthearted right now. You just really want to have fun. You just want to have some excitement in your life. And you're deciding to go on this journey. The path less... Uh, I, I'm hearing that basically this path that you're taking is... Um, it has basically been provided for you and you alone. It's almost like it's your individual journey. No one else can take this. So since you're, it's almost like you're being initiated into your purpose. Two of Swords. 
there's some things that are going to happen that you're not going to see coming. That's why I feel like you need to try to clear your energy as best as you can so that you don't run into things that you can prevent, basically, because there's going to be things that you're not going to see coming. If you prepare for the unexpected, then you won't be blindsided or, you know, sideswiped or something like that, because there's supposed to be some victory coming in. But I feel like you got people that don't want to see this victory coming in for you. And this is behind your back. These people are not they're not going to tell you up front how they truly feel. They're going to smile in your face all the time. They want to take your place. Let's see what's behind the veil for the wheel. Yeah, see, they want you to feel like you are in some type of misery or that you got to keep fighting, that you got to continue to keep on being in some type of spiritual warfare they might even want you to you know have some type of demise somebody might be trying to set you set you up and i just heard car accident or like some type of fat fatality so just be aware of that they don't wish anything good for you is what i'm hearing yeah you're gonna walk away the will is happening fate is happening they can't can't stop fate like that one let's do it one more time okay that feels good the moon Woo so there's some, some mystical things that's about to occur in your life i feel some things that are unknown to i would say to the average person that's the best way that i can think of it i'm doing this reading during the full moon in virgo so that might be significant you might actually be feeling the effects of it now i don't know if you guys did any uh, rituals during that time but if you did i feel like you're gonna start feeling the effects by the time you see this video because this is like two weeks or no a week something like that by the time you guys see this video <clears throat> what's this high priestess Queen of Swords, stand your ground, speak your truth, say what the what it is that you need to say, you know, cut people off if you need to, just don't be afraid to do the things, because you are protected, I told you, y'all got guardian angels, y'all got guides, you got spiritual protection away from this, when someone is trying to do sabotage you, or cause some, some type of ending to your life, or ending to the way that you exist in this realm someone they, they don't wish anything good for you but you are protected by the guardian with that's right there that's who's guiding you what's the six of swords Okay, so it's possible that you and your family are being guided. So you, whoever I'm talking to, you might have children. Maybe you are a married couple. If not, then maybe it's you, your spouse, and your, your kids or your children. What's under here? The seven of onks. And I feel like somebody... Okay, this energy that I'm getting is that you might be in denial of what's going or how these people's intent are the five of wands you might be in denial of how bad they want to see your demise yeah because you really just focus on your wish this is five of wands the chariot card cancer energy attack so it's almost like it's time for y'all to get up and move away. Yeah, because whatever this is, this is not it, bro. The devil and then the three of scarabs, they're literally plotting and planning. Whatever this devil energy is to try to stop you from moving forward. These are some cowards. 
with the strength card in reverse they do things behind people's backs that's the only way that they could actually win because if they face you they know that they would never win facing you so they go behind your back to do stuff plus they're doing it out of desperation because they don't have any money or finances or they're not getting offered anything people don't want to work with them it's probably just a small group that's in the same category and they probably going to sabotage themselves because look at this they don't have any protection so it's almost like they're attacking you but you have all the, this guidance and protection and these people don't so they're op they got themselves open to something that they <laughs> pretty much if you were to send something back towards them it would just sabotage their whole entire thing but i don't feel like who i'm talking to you do that type of stuff if anything you probably do stuff to protect yourself but you don't try to send anything of ill will towards anyone and it's because these people right now, they're in balance. The scales are not in their favor. They're experiencing a lot of uh, misery, a lot of chaos. It's almost like you probably have a lot of pain as well. And they're jealous and envious because you are secure. The divine has given you a gift. The divine has allowed you to have the stability in life and also in your finances, I feel. So you moving forward. You're trying to have a good time. You're trying to experience life. Maybe you guys are going on a family vacation. What's this Prince of Wands? <laughs> it's destined to happen like that. The will twice. Keep on doing whatever it is that you're doing. Keep your head down, focusing on that, and also saving some money. Maybe you guys, like I said, you're going on a vacation, so you need to put some money aside for this trip that, that's coming up. My nose is itching like crazy. What's the full card? Oh, goodness. Hold on, y'all. Eight of Swords. Hmm. Yeah. The Eight of Swords is entrapment. It's almost like... Because someone wanted you to not get into the stage of initiation or the stage of going down your journey. They wanted you to stay mentally stuck and entrapped. But that's what's happening to them. I mean, whoever this is, they're going through real bad karma. They're going through a lot of chaos. It's like they can't seem to win for losing. What's this two of swords? The ten of unks. Yeah. I don't know if this is family. Like, I feel like you have family, you and your spouse and your children. And then you have your extended family or, you know, brothers and sisters, aunts and uncles. And they're the ones that's doing this behind your back. Yeah. But the temperance is right here. So something is going to be hard. Yeah, it's going to be justified. The temperance and the justice card right here. So... You're going to receive justice for whatever this is that someone's trying to do. I feel like they're very arrogant, whoever this is, because they see that it's not working, but they continue to keep trying. What's the Six of Wands? Yeah. Told you, it ain't gonna work. The Tower, the Pyramid card. Warrior of Scarabs. So if they were doing this because they were trying to get some type of finances or some type of money, that's not going to work. Again, whoever this is, they they have a entitlement. They, have, they feel like they're entitled to something. They feel like they're do something that they aren't. Yeah. They're struggling. They're struggling. These is definitely people in your family, the Six of Unks. Because the Six of Unks can be past life or um, childhood memories and nostalgia, stuff like that. What's under here? Yeah, the world is, the world card, it's over. The cycle is over. Continue to be in this energy of waiting for 
the new because I feel like what's gonna happen is y'all gonna go on a vacation and then you're gonna come back. There's gonna be a whole bunch of things that have changed because the will is about to take over. Because you already put in the work. See the eight of discs? We've seen the eight of scarabs earlier. So y'all already didn't did the work. So now it's time for you to go into a place of victory. Reward being recognized for the work that you did in any case that could be. And that's probably why y'all got this too. So if you're looking for a new home, I feel like that new home is coming. If you guys have put in application for, you know, whatever, it, it, I feel like your family is going to continue to prosper. And when I'm saying family, I mean you, your spouse and your children. Okay. So that's what I have for y'all. I hope that this helps someone. If it did, please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share, hit the post notification bell. Even if it didn't help you, please share it. Until next time, talk to you later. Deuces.